When I was a very little girl growing up in, in England, I always loved animals and I read books uh, about animals and I read books about Tarzan of the apes and fell in love with Tarzan. That set off my dream I would go to Africa, live with animals and write books about them. A sus 75 años, Jane Goodall imparte conferencias, recauda fondos, diseña estrategias y, sobre todo, transmite pasión por la vida, por la paz y por el respeto al mundo que habitamos. After I'd been in the field a year, I went to Cambridge University to get a PhD. I didn't have a BA and I was horrified to be told I'd done everything wrong. I'd given the chimpanzees names and not numbers, and that was not scientific. I talked about the chimpanzees having personalities, having minds, and having emotions like happiness, sadness, fear, despair. And I was told that these were all unique to the human animal. And the thing was that I thought back to the teacher I had as a child, who taught me that animals do have personalities, minds, and feelings, and that was my dog, Rusty. I think anyone who's shared their life with some kind of animal knows that animals do have personality, minds and feelings and, and therefore they need a name. Jane Goodall is the maximum authority in mundial in materia de chimpancés. Descubrió que estos primates eran capaces de utilizar herramientas, hacer la guerra o distinguir diferencias culturales. Hoy en día trabaja en todo el mundo, viajando 300 días al año para difundir la idea de que todos los seres vivos importan. As I was traveling around the world talking about forests and chimpanzees, learning all the time more and more about the, the reason for this, I kept meeting young people who seemed to have lost hope and basically they all said, we feel this way because we believe you've compromised our future and there's nothing we can do about it. A través de los centros de rescate y los proyectos de investigación y restauración, Goodall vuelca sus esfuerzos en ayudar al desarrollo de las poblaciones locales, en inculcar el respeto por la vida y en enseñar que todo está conectado. Y es que tiene la certeza de que la pobreza es el mayor enemigo de la conservación de la naturaleza. I feel very passionate about the way that we grow our food, the distances that food so often travels so that the it's adding to the CO2 emissions. I feel agriculture is a tremendous challenge to get rid of the poisons that we're spreading on our fields and that we're eating in our food.